I recently watched Peter Brown's latest video about coloring epoxy with different types of household items. I thought that was interesting right now because Total Boat sent me this kit to try. I would like to try coloring it. So I have some artist pigments and paints lying around because I have done painting in the past but not since I started doing woodworking full-time. So I have some watercolor pigments of course which regular watchers will know I tried coloring some wood with it recently. <laughs> to no success really. I also have acrylic paint. These are all thick and you have to add water to them to use them effectively. But the way they're used in painting require vastly different techniques. But hey, this isn't about painting. Good quality artist colors are number one expensive. So this is probably not the most economical solution for coloring epoxy. But I'm just trying these because I have them lying around and I know they're good quality pigments. A disadvantage of good quality pigments is that they sometimes have toxic elements in them. For example, this cadmium red is made with cadmium, which is a heavy metal, toxic in large doses, much like lead. Lead, as do-it-yourselfers will know, is or was often used in white paint, which is why you have to be careful if you're stripping old uh, furniture or wood in your home. Blues will often have cobalt. Uh, yellows and reds usually have cadmium. In this case, this blue is made with copper, actually. And this red is pyrrole. I don't know what pyrrole is. And this one I can't even <laughs> read. Benzimidazolone. So I'm interested to know how these will work in coloring epoxy. So enough talking. Let's try it. should put some gloves on. Usually a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. I'm just gonna take a little bit, like that, a little bit like that. Box this up. Yeah, it's been about two minutes. Yeah, it's looking kind of granular. I didn't really expect it to dissolve, but that's that. So I'll just set that aside. I guess I'll try the red watercolor this time, just to compare it. Like I said, a little bit of this goes a long way. It's a little bit. Alrighty. Well, that looks almost identical <laughs> to the acrylic. So we'll set that aside. Try the yellow now. It kind of looks like it's mixing in a little better. Well, again, like the other two, you can kind of see the granules. It's not dissolving into the epoxy, but I didn't really know what to expect. So I guess that's probably normal. And the last one is blue. It kind of glitters a little bit. <laughs> So we'll set these aside for the required 12 hours it takes for this to set, and we'll come back to it later. All right, now that these have had time to cure, oop, a little sticky, put my gloves on. Okay, these have had time to cure now. So Seems like it's worked pretty well. This is the red, red acrylic, and it is completely opaque. There we go. So it is quite hard, but like I said, completely opaque. Almost. It's a little see-through on the edge where it's thin. The watercolor pigments, however, are somewhat translucent. Seems to have cured pretty well. As you can see, the acrylic is opaque, whereas the watercolor pigment is somewhat translucent. It looks pretty good. The blue is not quite as blue as I thought it would be. I thought it would be lighter. It's more like a navy blue and more translucent than the yellow or the red. But that could be the amount of pigment I put in. I was very sparing with it. So it looks like these worked just fine. Although these artist pigments are kind of expensive. So not the most economical way to color epoxy. I mean using mustard is much more economical than using this yellow, for example. When I bought these, they were somewhere between 10 and $15 a tube, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I would call these wins. You can be certain that I will be trying this in future projects. I think one thing I could have done to make them a little more translucent was to hit it with either the heat gun or the torch to pop the bubbles. That would have helped. 
but not really practical depending on, depending on what you're doing. So come on back for more fun projects in Cami's garage.